Hey y'all, welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. So happy new year. Um, hopefully the 2021 year is going to be much better for us. Um, we're starting off with an experiment today. So um, I got, I received collard greens in my Misfits box and I've never made collard greens before. Today's the perfect day to do that, to go along with our black eyed peas and our cabbage and everything. So we're gonna experiment together. I've looked at some different recipes online and um, I'm gonna try and make some in my pressure cooker. I hope they don't turn to complete mush, but I've looked at a few different recipes and we're gonna kind of build it together to um, fit what sounds good to me and how I think the collard greens are usually made whenever I like to eat them. Um, when I say we're experimenting, I've never made collard greens, so, and I know that a lot of people don't recommend at high temperatures for collard greens because it can break down the greens themselves. But I worked last night and I'm short on time. So I wanna try it in the pressure cooker, which is exactly the purpose of a pressure cooker. So we're gonna do that together and Eleanor is gonna help me. So she's gonna help pass some ingredients. So um, these were all things that I basically had already in the house anyway. All I had to pick up from the grocery store was some extra ham hocks. I was already getting some for my black eyed peas so I just picked up an extra pack. So what we're gonna start off with is I've got two bunches of collard greens that we washed and washed and washed. Like you really need to make sure you wash your greens. They're gonna have sand and grit, maybe even bugs in them. You have to get them nice and clean, otherwise your end product is gonna be gross. I also pulled that thick stem out of them. I know that you can cook them on just a minute. Um, but just like your kale, um, you can cook it, chop it down, but for this time I decided to leave that out because I am experimenting with um, how long I want to cook them and I want an ease of things. But they do have a lot of nutritional value, so if you de-stem them, chop them up into smaller pieces, they can go in the same. Um, I'm just not sure on the cooking time. It's something I'll have to play with and let y'all know. So we washed all of our greens probably about six or seven times. No joke, it does take some prep work. We de-stemmed them, and now I'm just going to tear them up to go into the pot. Do you want to come do this part for me? So we just want to tear them up into small pieces. Here, you come on this side for me. I'm going to switch sides. <laughs> you can be right there. So you start tearing them all up for me while I add some extra pieces. Uh, now you can leave them in bigger chunks if you want. So you see this one though? Mama likes her greens in smaller pieces, so we're going to pull them to kind of like this size. Um, but Eleanor, that's good. She's going to tear them and toss them in for me while I add in our extra ingredients. So you're going to do about a tablespoon of minced garlic or about two or three cloves um, if you have fresh garlic. Yeah. Um, I love my chicken base, but if you have some chicken broth or even some chicken bouillon cubes, you can use um, use that. But I would, um, what I saw from the lady who I'm mostly following on this is she used two um, bouillon cubes. So I'm using about two tablespoons of my chicken base, just because that's what's left in the base of all of this. Now this is a relatively small batch of greens because these are going to cook down just like uh, spinach will. So you don't have to worry about, you need a ton of um, seasoning. A little bit of seasoning is going to go a long way. Now, if you want to cook this for a lot more people, because this is going to be just for a few people, uh, if you want to cook for a lot more people, you're going to need a lot more greens, like six, seven, eight, ten bunches, depending on how many you're cooking for. But they're very, very inexpensive too, so it's not going to cost you a bunch. And then I'm going to use about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. And y'all, don't y'all just love my measuring? I just eyeball it. Um, so we're also going to throw in one uh, roughly chopped yellow onion. Excuse me. <laughs> and then I'm going to use uh, these three ham hocks. I'm going to use these two smaller ones that I have right here. They're kind of <laughs> stuck together. <laughs> And this one, just because it's laying flat, and I like this little meaty parts that's on it. Mm -hmm. and, oh, 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 yeah. So we're gonna finish tearing these up. And 
you can chop these too if you want. You don't want to tear them. You can chop them. But tearing goes rather quickly. And you see you can have your children involved in helping mm -hmm. to learn to cook. And look, she's learning how to cook greens um, 30 years faster than I did. Mama's never made this before. I have. You have? No, we've made spinach and stuff. But we've never made collard greens. Ooh. Ooh. Bless you. Thank you. But we're just getting these all torn and put in. Now I will add a little bit of red pepper flakes as well. I didn't see that on um, the recipe that I'm kind of following a little bit. But every time I've ever had collards in the in the in a restaurant, they've had red pepper, uh, red pepper flakes in it. So. I'm going to add a little bit, and if I need to add a little bit more at the end, I will. It's getting wet. Oh. Do I have a little hand? Yeah, I have a little hand towel over there, Susie. Okay, I'm going to go get it. It's right there. Ooh, careful. I don't plug it. We'll plug it back in. <laughs> this one? Yes, ma'am. It's little. It's okay. It's just to dry your hand. This one's called a hand towel. Okay. Ooh. It does take a little bit of work, but greens are so yummy. I'm hoping this will be worth it. Guys, comment down below if you think this will uh, overflow. <laughs> oh, I hope not. I hope. No, I don't want it to overflow. That'll be a mess. <laughs> So obviously if you were making this for a lot more people and you needed more greens, it's not going to fit because we're at two large bunches and um, and we're getting full. <laughs> Mommy, some good on my face. Aww. <laughs> there. Stop my face. Yeah, I'm looking If there's good. one thing um, that sticks with you from this video though is wash 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 your greens you definitely you don't i can't stress enough you do not want that sand and grit in your greens they're not going to taste good you're going to end up doing all the work for nothing because you're going to throw it out you're not going to want to eat sandy nasty muddy grits i mean what? greens don't want to eat muddy grits either do you no or you might get sick or you might have to go to the hospital that's true too all right. And now, um, you know, all right. Go put that in the sink for me, yeah, and dry your hands. I was tricking them that I was gonna oh. drink it. And we're gonna add about a cup and a half, two cups of water to this. We need enough water for it to come up to pressure, but I also don't want too much water. Um, I want that flavoring to really get around. I'm gonna do an extra hand up. Cleaner and Thank you. All right. Will you plug us all in, Sissy? Okay. I'm going to do a few shakes of red pepper flakes. And like I said, I can add a little bit more later if we need. You got it? Perfect. We're going to put our lid on, turn it to ceiling. Let's move this all out of the way so they can see. Making some music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna turn it on. Click pressure. Already set to high, and we're gonna start at 35 minutes, and hopefully that will be long enough to cook. But we're gonna let this come up to pressure, and once it's done, we'll vent it, and we'll come back and let y'all see what we're looking at. See y'all back soon. Bye. Okay, y'all. Our collard greens are all done. The timer's gone off, so we just powered it down, and I did um, a quick release on the pressure cooker. So we're going to open them up and see if we need to add any extra salt, pepper, um, crushed red pepper for some spice. Yeah, got my little assistant here again. Say hi. Hi. So we're going to see if we need to add anything, and fingers crossed that this is not mush. Yes, I know. Say we want good, soft collard greens. Yes? Yes, but I'm expecting that we'll probably need to add a little bit extra seasoning, but we shall see. So, fingers crossed. You ready? Ooh. Hold on. 
and a little tip, always turn it away from yourself. This steam will burn. And if you wear glasses, it will fog your glasses up. Um, so, <laughs> you practice and so not mush. This is actually, they look pretty good. <laughs> so we still have nice big pieces yeah. and soft pieces. Let's, we're going to do a little, yeah, let's, let's mix it all around, make sure all of our flavors are mixed and our, our ham hocks broke down pretty good too. Ooh, they have some pretty good seasoning in here. I didn't realize they had, this one had as much seasoning on it. Um, but that's got some good, or maybe it soaked up a lot of our seasoning. But they broke down pretty good. Yes, ma'am. All right, go. Um, ooh, that one broke down really good. But this adds a lot of flavor to our broth. And the little meat bits and everything are good, too. So we're just mixing it all around, make sure our flavors are mixed nice, and we're going to do a little taste test. Ooh. So they're a little bit spicy. That's okay. A good back of the throat heat. Um, really... I don't know that we need to add anything. This is near perfect. I do think that I might have added a little bit too much broth. I'll let y'all see. Or too much water. But it's not a ton that it makes me upset. It's just I like mine to almost use up almost all of that water and broth in them. Um, and this is, as far as the first time cooking on myself, I say it's a win. Um, even if I got this in a restaurant, I would be very happy with this. It does have a little bit of heat on the back of the throat, but um, I know I didn't add too much crushed red pepper, so it may be the fact that the crushed red pepper plus the seasoned ham hocks, so just be mindful of that, but I think 35 minutes on the pressure cooker was perfect. And those are delicious. I might sit here and eat them all day. <laughs> but I can't. No, I know I can't, but... I know it's a big bowl, but you see how much it cooked down? Look and see. You want to show them how much it cooked down? Yeah. So we're going to bring y'all over and let y'all see. Remember, she was worried about it cooking over, and I won that bet. She bet that it would cook over, and it would spill out, and I knew it would shrink down. So we have probably a third of what we started with. But man, is it delicious. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek and let y'all see, and maybe you'll give it a try. I'll definitely be doing this again, and I, now I feel less intimidated for making collard greens myself. I know that it can be a lot of work, but this definitely made it manageable. The main thing is just wash your greens, and you're golden from there. Um, perfect way to start off our new year, and hopefully you give it a try, too. Thank y'all for joining us, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.